morning, everybody. It's June 2nd, a.k.a. National Donut Day, NDD, the No Disclosure by Duncan. So they give away a free donut with every beverage purchase. I got a donut. I heard he ate it. No Krispy Kremes near here. You know that the only Krispy Kreme in all of New York is in Penn Station? That's wild. I feel like if they just set those up where like they have Starbucks, like mad people would just go into Krispy Kremes. Maybe I'm just thinking about that from like I go into every one of them. Beautiful day. Got a lot of motivation to get shit happening today. I'm not sure why. I really want to work outside, but there's really not a lot of good places to work outside. Anywhere I go, any of the cafes, they have shitty Wi-Fi and it's like hard to see your screen and yada, yada, yada. All right. Some new laces for my vans. Four. In case you guys didn't believe me that I ate that donut, oh, it's proof. Let's go, it's New Music Friday. Mmm. Bleachers has a new album out. Oh man, it's gonna be a good for you today. I always run through the entire New Music Friday, like the playlist. I know it's gonna be garbage, 75% of the song, but... Show me something, Phoenix. Show me something! And after. I just nailed my head on the chandelier. No, sometimes the kicks just need new laces to look good. These I got off Amazon for like four bucks. The company's name is A-O-M-I-D-I. They have all different colors. And we actually had a company reach out to me and they wanted me to try on, because they saw, I guess, my Fitbit video. They wanted me to try on some of their bands and like review it. So I gave the band to Brandon, so that's going to be a problem. But next time I'm with him, I'm going to make him put this on it and then we'll do a little review. Shout out you. I don't even know what the company name is, but I'll figure that out when the time comes. Good morning, y'all. It's Saturday, June 3rd. It's a little after 9 a.m. I actually just woke up. This was a late sleep for myself. Um, first of all, shout out Emerson Baseball for that state sectional championship win yesterday. I went to my high school baseball teams. They're in the state sectional championship. In finals, they were down 11-2 to in the bottom of the last inning. They play seven innings in, in high school. 11-2. to they knocked off nine runs in a row in the bottom of the last to force extra innings. Then they went down two in extra innings and then rallied back with three more in the bottom. I think it was the 10th inning or some shit. I don't know. It was a crazy ass game. One of the craziest games I've ever seen. Be able to go for real. I got a package yesterday. Finally gave in and got some Chuck E. Tees. I originally ordered these about a month ago, but I got them. My normal shoe size is 11. I was totally unaware of that. Chuck Taylor's run very, very small, so the 11 was huge on me. So I ordered a nine and a half and a 10. In the all white, regular Chuck E. Tees. I feel like these will go good with a light blue pair of pants, kind of rolled up. These are the nine and a halfs. They're like 45 bucks a piece, or maybe 50 bucks a piece off Nike, free return. So whatever one doesn't fit, I'll send them back. I'll try them off for you guys later. So there's my fridge. But, I don't think I ever showed you guys my downstairs. Oh yeah, I have, because I have the treadmill. We're like, we just hoard shit down here. It's actually out of control. I have my fridge down here in the laundry room. So I got a big ass pack of monsters. I gotta hide it from my mom because she fucking hates when I drink slash buy monsters. Even though now she's gonna watch this and know that I hoard them down here, shit. Shout out Monster for sponsoring this video. It's always you all are the bomb. They don't sponsor this video. But I'm telling you, if anyone from Monster somehow watches this video and you guys wanna get into an untapped market for marketing, fantasy football is that market 
bunch of nerds on the computer researching shit all night. Come on, let me do that for you. Let me be that guy. Lots of energy drinks. See? Like, could be like, or not. Right now we're just finishing editing it up a video and then we have another video scheduled to drop. In probably about a half hour, it's fantasy. This is the vlog for business. Drink my stir, head to the gym for a workout and then I have like the, a barbecue slash a party today at my friend's house. So I'll be there for the rest of the day. I'll probably check back with you guys on tomorrow, Sunday. Enjoy your weekends. All right, so I put the nine and a halfs on and I like how they look actually. I'm kind of digging the style. I don't really know they're super narrow in the front. I don't really know how you wear these things. I think I'm gonna roll. Do you, do you tie them all the way to the top one or do you leave them like low, the laces, and then you kind of have the tongue out? Some Someone with, is knowledgeable in the Chuck E. T. area. Let me, let it, let a big dog know. I'm a fan. This is what you call seasoning. <laughs> Season it on the ground. It's good. It's uh, a. <clears throat> Morning, y'all. <clears throat> morning, y'all. Sunday. <clears throat> goddamn, goddamn. It's Sunday morning. Uh, it's pretty early. It's like eight, eight-ish. I got home from the, <clears throat> from the barbecue at like 12:30. I was kind of drunk, and I wanted to go to sleep, but I just couldn't fall asleep for some reason. I started listening to music, and I found this epic song. If any of you guys are into like hip hop, like I'm into hip hop, but I don't know what the fuck's going on with all these new rappers like Lil Yachty and and all those guys. But if you ever heard, if you heard of this guy, you probably have if you're younger. This dude, his rapping is trash, and I don't really know what, why people like him. But for some reason, this song came on. I don't know why. It was like my favorite thing in the world last night. So I literally stayed up for an hour and I listened to it like 18 times in a row. It's called Revenge by XXX Tentation. I don't understand what he's what his look is. What is that? What in XXX Tarnation? I don't understand it, but it's a good song. But anyway, I didn't end up getting to sleep until like two, and then I woke up this morning at like 4.30, and I couldn't go back to sleep, so I've been up for like four hours now, just like, and I know I'm gonna die later. But I figure since I'm up, the gym's open, I'll mix up a lot of caffeine. I'm gonna do a monster, or half a monster. Probably like a third of a scoop of this new pre-workout I got. Put the review up there. And then I'll mix up some other shit. If you'll ever wonder about my, I did a supplement uh, video I think one time. What kind of vitamins do I take? Honestly, whatever my mom stocks up here, I just take one of them every day. But I always take a, a multi. And I try to get vitamin D in as well because I've seen studies before that, you know, like most people who have lower body fat percentages have a very high level of vitamin D in their system. So if I had to suggest any types of vitamins, it would be a multi, vitamin D, and then the A and C are like, if you don't eat fruit, I would take those, but if you eat like fruit and vegetables, you'll get enough vitamin A and C, because I feel like every, like a piece of broccoli has like 758% of your daily vitamin C. It's like out of control. It's not right at all, I know it's, I know it's wrong. I'm gonna mix up some drink, get a workout, and it's probably gonna be an awful workout, because I'm probably gonna crash, or I'm just gonna drink so much caffeine that it'll be awesome, and then I'll crash really hard after, and I'll probably nap for like 17 hours today. Also, if you're looking for jeans, you're a dude. I would highly suggest trying Hudson Sarder Slouchy Skinny. They're really tapered and really skinny by like the calves and, and in the lower area, but they're they're called like Slouchy Skinny because they they give you a lot more room in like the waist area. So check out Hudson. They have you can go on their website. You can find it on Amazon. Whatever. It's like 12. No, it's one o'clock. Steve wants to go to International Buffet. He's been saying it since like 11 a.m. I'm like, you don't understand how aggressive going to an all-you-can-eat Chinese buffet is right now. Like, can you stop? Can, can we not do that? I'm definitely gonna end up fucking going. So, did you pop it? I did, but like, I thought there was like a little lack. Let me see it now. Oh, it looks better. Yeah. It's gonna be probably a big, big ass red bump though. It's relieved. I was on the treadmill downstairs. I just organized my little desk. I was taking some gram pictures. You know, I gotta start getting more involved on Instagram. It's the biggest social media platform in the world right now in terms of growth and in terms of like engagement and where people can find you. So I really gotta start using that more. 
and uh, I want to try to post a picture I, like every day, if not every other day. So I'm definitely trying to get more involved in that. Right now I'm packing on my shit. I'm about to go put in barista shift at Starbucks. I made a new video this morning. Top three tips for fat loss for summer. That should be on the channel. That should already be on the channel if you're watching this. Probably going to write up some more scripts for some fantasy football ones. And then I actually have a bunch of marketing work to do like for my job job. So on my website, the Big Dog's Gotta Eat website, where, where I have my blog and my... Uh, my store for where the hats are gonna come in. I have the hats listed on the on the site, but it says coming soon. I had someone put an order in yesterday for a hat, which was, this is my first hat, which is really cool. Except they're not in. I don't have them in stock yet, which is why I said coming soon. So I had to put the prices up because I originally listed them at like twenty two. I don't know whatever it was, but I put them up to like nine 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 just so no one makes that mistake and orders them by accident. They're not gonna be coming in. It's June 5th right now, so they're not gonna be in for at least another like three weeks. So it's like the end of June. They should be ready to ship and stuff by like first week-ish of July. So that's when the hats are coming in. So don't go on the website and order anything now if you do. But I'm assuming the first, like my entire first stock is gonna be a lot of my friends and family buying them, which is awesome. Um, but I'm gonna have to figure out that situation because like I'm not gonna make them pay for shipping and I'm not gonna ship it to them if they live like next door or something like that. So I gotta figure that out. I do have the little square chip reader that plugs into the bottom of your phone and you can use credit card purchases for that. So I feel like I might do that with my friends. When you do an e-commerce website or whatever, it usually hooks up to Square. Like when you pay for the e-commerce website, they, they come in partnerships with a company like Square or like Apple Pay or something and they'll send you the chip that you plug into your phone and people can pay through that, which is pretty cool. But it's all a learning process. I'm not really sure how it works now and we'll figure it out when we get there. Good morning, everybody. Oh my God. Oh my God. Fucking back up, camera, Jesus. I just woke up. It's... June 6th, I don't know why I'm 158.8 pounds, to be honest with you. I have not been weighing myself consistently. I have not weighed myself in like, I don't know, probably like a month, to be honest with you. I haven't weighed 158.8 pounds in a really long time. So I feel like maybe it's because I didn't eat a lot yesterday. But I mean, I'm not mad about a low weight, right? After all, it is summer. So I'm gonna make some coffee. Today I wanna bang out at least two videos. I have one uploaded and it's gonna go out today. Top three tips for fat loss. And that's how you weigh yourself. You get up, immediately pee, step on the scale. That's how you consistently weigh yourself. You don't weigh yourself throughout the day. You don't weigh yourself before going to the gym, after the gym, during your workout, right before bed. That's how your weight's gonna fluctuate by 10 pounds because your water weight and your food weight is flying all over the place. If you wanna consistently weigh yourself day in, day out, wake up, use the bathroom, then you get immediately on the scale. I have marketing business to take care of, and then I'm actually gonna go around either today or tomorrow to a couple gyms in my area and talk to the owners of the gym. I might call them first uh, to see if there's interest, but I'm gonna start moving in on uh, another one or two potential fitness clients. And then I actually wanna hit the gym, so I'm trying to just decide which order I wanna do all this in. Sorry, just talking shit down here, but I just finished filming two videos, so we're gonna do while they upload to my computer, I'm gonna walk on the treadmill for 10 minutes on incline, burn some cows. Oops, I'm about to blow this shit up. We're about to watch me blow up on camera. Go upstairs, edit one of them, come back down, walk for 10, go upstairs, edit the second one. That'll be the majority of my morning, afternoon, and then as soon as I'm done editing both those videos and making the thumbnails for them, easily the worst part about doing YouTube is having to make the thumbnail, you'd be surprised how big of an impact the thumbnail has. Edit, upload, thumbnail for those two videos, walk treadmill, and then I'm gonna go to Starbucks and probably be there for a bunch of hours working on my actual job, the marketing portion of all this stuff. And then I'm gonna hit the gym later. So it's a busy day. You know, this stuff gets repetitive, but if you don't like it, you know, you'll never, it, it, it'll never work out. If you don't, if you're not into this stuff, if you're starting this stuff for the wrong reason, it's game over. A little life tip. I'm cooking up breakfast right now. I'm making eggs, peppers, and onions. When you're making eggs, you ever made eggs while they're cooking? Salt and pepper it, right? And you don't taste it at all. You gotta wait until they're cooked, like they're done basically, and then you put the salt and pepper on. That's how you taste the seasoning. If you do it while they're like wet and soggy, you ain't gonna taste it. It's season season, so I gotta tell you all the seasoning tips, obviously. SZN your eggs after they cook. Very productive day. Let me turn the light on for you. It's 6.30. Never mind, it's 
Seven, wow, they went fast. I just showered, ate, and I'm probably just gonna relax for the rest of the night. I wanna show you guys something. Um, this is full disclosure before I start pulling this crazy shit. If you don't wanna see my fingernail right now, fast forward like 35 seconds. I don't know what to do because, so you can see it, right? This side, look at that. This side is completely off. See that coming up? But this side is completely still on. So it keeps getting caught on everything when I take a Band-Aid off of it. The one side's completely on, so one side's completely off. I can't rip it off because it fudging hurts right now. So like, I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. Like if I pulled it off, it'd be the same thing as like you pulling it off because that side is like glued onto there. This doesn't make sense. I don't know. I'm going to stop and shop. I'm going to buy like 400 Band-Aids and just keep wrapping them around. It gets caught on like the most ridiculous things. I'll be like eating a piece of chicken. It gets caught in the chicken. I'm like, okay. Wednesday, what do we got? I got a haircut at 12.45. I don't know why I make it at 12.45 because it's like right in the middle of when I want to do shit. Or right in the middle when I'm like in the zone to do stuff. Okay, so right, let me put you on a tripod right quickie. Y'all about to go for a spins. Woo! Okay, so I'm about to make a couple calls to a few of the gyms that I narrowed down. And I'm just going to basically ask if the owner or a manager is there that I could speak to and just give them a real quick pitch. Just telling them what I do. Kind of just been here for the last like 10 minutes just pretending that I'm on the phone and going over over the pitch that I would say to them. Just tell them, you know, I'd love to come in for a face-to-face -face meeting, explain my background better and tell them what I can do for their business. So that's kind of the end goal for this first call. It's not like trying to lock them down as a client or anything like that. You have to kind of build this relationship up. I have three gyms I'm gonna call. They just opened up a brand new Starbucks in my town. Literally this morning was the first day. So I wanna go over there and now I don't have to drive like 20 minutes away to the other Starbucks. I like kinda wanna do it, but I kinda also feel like I'm just gonna run into every single person in my town that I know and then I'm gonna become the weird creepy kid that just sits there and is like, oh, this kid's there every single time I'm in Starbucks. Like what the fuck? But then again, my town's like small and I feel like most people no, or you know, we all kind of know each other. It's not like that creepy. I'm kind of creepy, I guess, but I don't know, fam. I'll let you know in, in about 20 minutes how the calls go, though. If you know your party's three digit extent spa, please listen carefully as our menu has changed. If you know your party's three digit extension, I didn't saw me doing this while I was calling them. Me coming in and explaining more what I could do for your for your business. Yeah, Get her, and it was kind of run down. And, um, oh my God, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so I, I, the more it kind of seemed like a fit for me, and that's why, you know, that's why I'm reaching out now, but I haven't actually. Calls are done, I hit three gyms. First one, I spoke with the lady for about 10 minutes. She is, I guess, the owner, but she doesn't really manage the marketing slash social media portion, but it went really well. She's gonna pass my information over to whoever would be in charge of that, and hopefully they'll get back to me. Second one, no answer, so I left a voicemail. Third one, seemed very interested. They said that they're actually having a sit down meeting in about 10 minutes from when I just called, and they're talking about you know moving forward marketing wise, what they wanna do social media wise, and things like that. So she was like, oh, you called at a really good time. Um, so it's definitely, something that could be could be a good thing for us. She doesn't know if it's like an immediate future kind of thing, maybe a couple months down the road, but either way, it's good. And she'll give me a call back either tonight or by tomorrow. Either way, I told them, you know, I'd love to just come in, sit down, meet them face to face, even if it's not a client that I can get within the next couple of weeks, even like a month, but you know, just to give them a better understanding of what I do and how the market works as a whole, because a lot of these companies really don't know. And I think that I could kind of pitch them well and, sh and tell them and show them what these tactics are capable of. All in all, good. Got that out of the way. It's been something I've like wanted to do for a while. And I realize the phone calls are super effective. You know, like emails don't work. Face-to-face -face works, but they're a little harder to come by because if they're not there, you're just kind of like, you know, you're swinging at it. You're swinging blindfolded. House calls work, man, old fashioned. Tried and true. All right, so I just stopped by the, the UPS store back there. I have to figure out packaging and shipping for the hats when they come in. All these shipping services, UPS, FedEx, USPS, they all offer like small business solutions and they'll help you out and usually it's some kind of discount if you like sign up and, and use them continuously. So I wanted to get a feel for, you know, price quotes and, and things like that. So I'm trying to figure out what kind of packaging I need, the uh, handling, how much it costs, you know, to ship to New York via California, those kind of things. But he said the UPS stores are franchised, so it's gonna be different pricing if I go in physically rather than sign up online. I I didn't get that much help, but give me this package and you can get all the packaging free online. They'll send it to you as long as it's not like really big boxes, I think. So this would work good for hats because I think you could put them in there and they're protected pretty well. I guess, I don't know, I print the labels online and I ship them one by one as they come in. 
I don't know. We'll figure it out. Finally got around to creating a Facebook page for this. So I'm really like going down every one of my friends and just inviting, invite, 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 invite. This is f the worst thing I've ever done. I'd be so angry if someone just keeps sending me invites. Actually, I'm almost done. And I've way, you have like way more Facebook friends than you have Instagram or like Twitter. So this is kind of a pain in the ass, but we're almost there. So you can check the page out. I think the username is BD Gotta Eat. So BD G O T T A E A T. So you can go like the page on Facebook, all that. I don't know how much, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing differently on there, but I'll post everything. So go give it a follow. All right, that sounds good. So in terms of the packaging, is that something that you guys supply? Tell you what, it's Thursday night. I ended up going to the Yankee game tonight. My mom pulled out this baller ass bomber jacket. I don't know where she pulled it out from. Actually, technically Friday morning, it's like 12:45 a.m. I haven't walked home from the quick check in my town since I was like probably like 21 years old. I'm 24, about to turn 25. Really put some shit in perspective. But that's gonna end this video off. Big ass bag of food. Probably should. I'm gonna feel like shit tomorrow morning. If you enjoyed the video. Please give it that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Oh shit, almost dropped I'm drunk, I'm sorry. We did, went to the fucking Yankee game. We didn't even sit down in our seats until it was like midway through the seventh inning. We did a bar crawl, the 1893 club, and then the, the Audi club. I don't even know what this club's are. I don't even know how he ended up at the game, it's ridiculous. It was fun, gotta live life, do these things. I'll see y'all on the next episode.